It's time for Blinka. What's yeah. going on in the news of Circuit Python? Absolutely nothing happened this week. No, yeah. Tons of happened. Way too much happened. The headlines kind of write themselves. So, um, okay. Know. Circuit Python <sighs> snakes its way to new Raspberry Pi Pico board. So we have a build. Um, but I think the bigger story, aside from just Circuit Python, uh, being this, on this new yeah. board, is the fact that out of all the choices, out of all the things, uh, what is Raspberry Pi going with? Uh, Python on hardware. Python on hardware. That's so, what it shipped with not Arduino support, although that is coming. Yeah, Arduino and Nuts are going to do some support, but there is a big shift, and this is what you know. This is that wave that we wanted to catch, and also where where everyone was saying like, oh, this is what's going to happen with the processor speeds, the capabilities, and just being able to take your code and move it around. Um, if you think about it, it's kind of neat. You can run the same code on a Raspberry Pi Linux computer as you can on a Pico. That's right. And, you know, you could take our CircuitPython That's stuff point. and run it in both places. Correct. And it, and it just works. I so. did even a demo of that. I tried a sensor. It worked both ways. Of course, it doesn't have Wi-Fi and Linux, but it is cool. It's a new chip from uh, the Pi Foundation. They also released a board. The chip isn't quite available in raw quantities yet, but you can get these boards. We had uh, some in stock. We had a couple thousand. We've been selling them over the last week. I think we're out now. Um, sign up to get notified if you want more. So why don't you keep scrolling and we'll see what else happens. Yeah, so that's the big news. Um, and if this was a, another week, well, um, I'll get to the other news story that I thought was pretty big. Um, but the Circuit Python beta just came out. So if you're looking for support for those uh, RP2040 boards specifically, like if you want to run a Pico, we got it. Um, also for the ESP32-S2, there's some new things that you can check out now. A lot of bug fixes and tweaks, you know, we're going through and, and fixing stuff. But yeah, the, the RP2040 is big. And then if you're, you know, we're adding more boards as well. Yeah. Uh, we, we also wrote a guide. We have a guide getting started with Raspberry Pi, Pico, and CircuitPython. Um, and then a few other odds and ends. Um, you can uh, check out some of the feedback that we got. People are, you know, instantly downloading stuff, trying it out. Um, the Pimeroni Pico keyboard running LEDs with Adafruit.star CircuitPython library. Yep. Uh, works immediately. Yeah, with MIDI and HID. Uh, of course, MicroPython got, you know, was released. That's the main um, uh, programming language for this board, just like Python is the main language for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's a book. We'll even show off the book. That book just came out. And yeah, uh, we'll yeah, people there. are starting to use it. They're like trying it out. We designed an uh, Itsy Bitsy. Sorry, we designed Itsy Bitsy a feather. A cutie pie and a zero. Scott yeah. did a deep dive, and Blinka is in space. Yeah, I wanted to uh, spend a little bit of time on this. So this has been going on for a while, and this is actually from the NASA site. So there is Circuit Python in space now. We could say it for sure this is happening. Uh, check out the press release. Check out the news from NASA. Um, the VRX mission uses a swarm of these little satellites um, to demonstrate new technologies for radio networking and navigation. Uh, they're known as CubeSats. And it'll be uh, launched. Uh, uh, they uh, they launched. Sorry, uh, this past Sunday aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9, and so now we can say, Circuit Python snakes its way to space. Uh, Circuit Python snakes its way to SpaceX. Um, and even saw it go off because it, it launched yeah. from. Uh, kind of big news. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, and you could check out the Pi Cube board. You could check out the SpaceX rideshare program. Kind of funny. And uh, you could check out the satellite information from NASA. And you could check out all the other stuff there on it Twitter. Is. Yeah, I think uh, if you look here, this is uh, Anne's photo. Anne saw this launch on Sunday morning. So cool. And uh, that's kind of neat. Uh, inside there is CircuitPython. Blinka in space. So you can check out the other projects. Uh, Mag tags, NeoPixels. This was neat. This was a neat um, yeah, fiber optic neat. Um, paraboloid made paraboloid. with a Teensy and CircuitPython. Oh, yeah. um, here's the uh, state uh, vaccinations. Um, other SAMD boards, they all run CircuitPython. The Build Your Own Mechanical Keyboard, that includes... Uh, People love these custom keyboards. Yeah, that includes a, a Itsy Bitsy. Um, this is a Kickstarter that already... They, the person was on our Kickstarter, and they already uh, got funded. Yay! Um, here's a wireless keyboard that runs CircuitPython. Here's Joey's project with the... Um, yeah, I saw that last order. week. Clue yeah. Thing. Um, there's a lot of stuff this week. Oh there my is a lot going on, and you can kind of see... Um, here's another neat example, definitive guide attaching sensors to Raspberry Pi uses compatibility layer called Blinka for CircuitPython. You did your Blinka talk with uh, the Linux Australia. Linux Australia. Oh my god, yeah, no wonder this week felt like a year. This has been a long week. And uh, you can check out the rest of the libraries, all the learn guides. We are now up to 292. 92. We're almost up to 300 libraries. 
all that and more, check out what our team's doing, upcoming events, and that is our Python on Hardware News for the week. Whew. Blinka keeps bringing it. Yeah. Okay, moving